Good day, YouTube, and welcome back to Useless Hobby Limited. My name is Blake, and if this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome content. When I was young, I was obsessed with Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin was like my hero. I watched every single episode uh, of his shows, every single movie. So I also used to have this little truck that looked like his truck and had his little action figure and like a crocodile and stuff and a detachable boat and it was remote control. So when I say I was a Steve Irwin like obsessive freak, like I was a huge fan of Steve Irwin. Like I wanted to be like his freaking apprentice or whatever. Like I wanted to go out and do what Steve Irwin did. So I guess in a way I kind of am getting that wish now. All right, I think that's it really. I'm gonna pick up some other things while I'm here, but then let's get back because I don't want to stay here too long. There's other people who need to come in here too. So today's video is gonna be a little different because we have a special guest, Mr. Baby Turtle. So he's probably the size, well, a little bit bigger, I would say, than a quarter. I'm taking Thatchy for a walk, and all of a sudden he stops and starts snoofing something that I almost step in, which truthfully isn't all that strange or unusual. Except for the fact that this time, the little thing that Thatcher was snoofing ended up being a baby turtle. So little baby turtle was hanging out in the road. I picked him up because I was gonna go put him somewhere else. We have uh, this area where we live, where there's a big pond and then there's like a walkway that goes around the pond. And that's where a lot of the turtles hang out. He was kind of far away from that. Um, so I don't know exactly where he came from but he was not in a good place. He was either gonna get stepped on or run over. So anyway, I pick him up and on further inspection, I come to realize that he's not in good shape. His shell was like so dark, it was almost black, which means that he usually has algae or something growing on his shell. And then poor little guy was dried out, his skin was flaking, and poor little guy could barely open his eyes. So I brought him home and stuck him in a little container bigger than this one with a little bit of water he drank some of the water, but then just kind of sat there. And honestly, I wasn't really sure if he was gonna make it or not. But just in case, um, I decided to try to rehabilitate him. And so I went to Walmart and picked up some turtle supplies. All right, so let's take a look at little guy here. As you can see, his shell is very dark and dirty. Looks like he might even have a little bit of damage right here. Looks like this piece of the shell is coming up a little bit. I will say overall though, his shell's not soft, so that's good. Oh, look. All right, so you see that little dot right there by his head? That means that he is a red-eared slider, I'm pretty sure, because the yellow ones don't usually have those dots. Oh, look, he's sticking his head out further for you. Just don't bite me. And let's look at this. Look at the coloration and the pattern on the bottom of his shell. He's a cute old guy, isn't he? And these types of turtles, it's very hard to tell whether it's a boy or a girl, until they get bigger. The female turtles are gonna have smaller tails and the male turtles are going to have longer tails. So he's too little to tell right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean his shell. Um, so normally actually what you do is you clean a turtle shell to get the algae off and any dirt, things like that. And you just clean it off uh, with a toothbrush. I was not able to get a toothbrush at the store. I had to get all the other stuff first and they were closing. So I'm just gonna use clean Q-tips. So he definitely has gunk on his shell. My question would be, is this dirt or is this pollution that's making him sick? So you can already see where I've cleaned part of a shell and it's a completely different color. So that's pretty nasty. I'm starting to think that maybe he is sick because he got into something or something got into the pond or the dirt or wherever where he is. 
Honestly, this stuff is kind of like oily. So, see how his shell is moving? That's not good. Sorry, bud. I need to hold you differently. So, I guess I take back what I said before about his shell not being soft because right there it is soft. Ew, look at this one. Yeah, no wonder he's been having low activity. I would imagine whatever this crap is that's on his shell is making him sick. So I'm just cleaning him with water. They do actually have something you can buy at the pet stores and things that are designed to clean turtle shells, but they didn't have that at Walmart. So this is gonna have to do. We're gonna have to let his shell heal before we let him go. Cause yeah, his little shell shouldn't be wiggling like that. See that? Yeah, whatever this is, I don't think is dirt. And the reason I say that is I've put him in water already and this stuff is like caked onto him. This black stuff. He's like, don't touch my flipper. This is my flipper. Sorry, bud, I'm trying to get all this black stuff off you. Got most of it. There we go, much better, bud. It's gross. Ugh. This is not my first rodeo with turtles. I have friends who have sulcata tortoises. I also had a yellow-bellied slider turtle for several years, and I had gotten him when he was actually kind of the size of this little turtle, and he grew to be full-grown, which for him was about, i say 12 inches long. Turtles, turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Turtles do not stay small. Um, most pet stores or places that you buy them from will tell you otherwise, but that's simply just not true. Yellow-bellied turtles and red-eared sliders do get bigger. And usually for the red-eared sliders, the females are actually larger than the males. And the males average around 12 inches by their shell, not their whole body. So like when they have their head out and everything, they tend to be a little bit bigger. Turtles, if you're thinking about getting one or if you're getting, thinking about getting any reptile, you really need to do your research before you get a reptile. Um, I do not suggest it. <laughs> They're a lot of work. Uh, well, I guess I wouldn't suggest it unless you're very invested. First off, reptiles, especially turtles, live for several years. They do get bigger, they do need kind of a mixed diet, um, especially if you're getting a water turtle. When they're little, they're gonna need more meat. Um, and as they get older, they get more um, herbaceous, 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 herbivorous. They eat more vegetables and plants. Can you stop? Give me that. Where'd you even find this? But yeah, so anyway, this is not my first rodeo with turtles. I did have a turtle, so I do know how to take care of them. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, and then we can move on to figuring out how to put all of his tank together. All right, now that I have washed the tank and all the things that are gonna go in the tank, let's start decorating the tank. So I'm gonna start with the rocks first. I only washed the first bag. I just kinda wanna see how much this covers. That does cover the bottom, but I think I'm gonna add the second layer of rocks just because I personally like it to be a little bit thicker. Honestly, all the dirt and grime ends up kind of sinking down into the rocks. So if you have a little bit more rocks, you usually don't have to clean the tank out as much, or at least that's what I remember from when I had a turtle. All right, I'm gonna add the second group of gravel, but because I'm gonna put my rock 
probably right here. I'm gonna put more rocks back here to elevate it just a little bit. All right, so we put our gravel in, we put this rock in. So this is gonna be um, above the water. Water turtles need an area to bask and dry off their shell. So that's what the top part of this is gonna be, which is why I elevated it. Let's go ahead and figure out where this is gonna go. Yeah, this is definitely too high. Put this little hook thing on the back and take it off. That other sticky guy go. So they gave me, you can see it, another little suction cup thing. I'm just gonna hook it into the back. All right, never mind. I can't get it. So I'm just gonna see if it'll hold with the one. I really feel like I need to see the other one. Oh no, they both came out. Crap. Now I have to get at least it. One of them in. I can't even fit these things in here. Figured out if you use scissors, or probably if you use like a butter knife, and you shove the little stuff down in there, it will go in eventually. It's just really hard. Oh. Now that I have our little sticky guys on the back of here, I'm gonna go ahead and place this inside the tank. That should be good. I'm gonna push the rocks a little bit just to give it a little space underneath to be able to breathe. Cause that's where it sucks all the stuff in. Now I gotta figure out where to put our little plant guys. Okay. I'm gonna put this one in this corner. I'm gonna put this one in this corner. All right, so we got our water in the tank. I am going to plug the filter in because this is gonna need to Go ahead and filter out the water probably for a couple hours just to be safe before we put him in here, even with the water conditioner thing that we're gonna put in there. It said that it would keep the water conditioned for a certain amount of days. Maybe we hide him somewhere, like, I don't know, like here. I'll just have like a turtle statue now. Honestly, I've never used the ones that are like this. I've only ever used the water conditioner that's like little drops that you put into the tank. I guess this is also a little bit of a learning process for me too. Ooh. All right, so he's probably hungry. Oh, look, it's him. <laughs> Let's open this. I did that um, earlier. So these are still gonna be too big for him. So I'm just gonna smush them and make them smaller. That should be good. So you can see him a little bit better in this container. So yeah, you can see over, oh. Hey, you're getting some energy back. You feel better now that that gunk's off your shell? So you see those red marks on the sides of his head? That's why I'm pretty sure he is a red-eared slider. So while his tank is getting ready, I'm gonna feed him, because who knows when he ate last, and he's probably hungry. There definitely was something oily on his shell because the water that I just put in there for him is, like it looks like it has a, a thin layer of grease floating on the top of it. I don't think he's figured out that there's food in there yet. Maybe if I put him in a bigger container, he'll realize there's food. Hmm, it might take him a little while to acclimate. Maybe when he's in his tank, he'll eat. At least he's moving around now. He wasn't doing that at all earlier. So it's been several hours that I've been letting the filter filter out all the water that's in the tank. So this little guy's probably ready to go in there. Kind of curious how he's gonna react. He's a lot more active now that we've cleaned his shell, so that's a good sign. So let's put him in there and see what he does. Get in there, bud. Ooh, feisty. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, don't crawl out of there. Oh, look. <laughs> He's a lot happier. All right, little bud. There you go. All right, I think he likes it because he's just chilling. Look at him. 
All right, so I'm gonna throw some food in there because he has not eaten any of the stuff that I threw in earlier. Let's see if he'll eat any of it. He hasn't figured out that that's food yet. Honestly, I think he's just happy to have his own little space. I think that other plastic bin that I put him in was a little small and I didn't put a lot of water in there because he didn't have anything to rest on. So he definitely seems happier now that he can swim. Man, he looks tiny in this tank. Okay, so he likes the fake plants we put in there because he's kind of sitting on that one. He's so cute, little turtle. I think he likes it, he's just chilling. He's getting brave, he's exploring more. So he is moving around a lot more, which is a good sign. And he seems to be a lot happier now that he has room to swim. And actually it's so funny because he looks so tiny in this big giant tank. So I will say the fact that he's swimming kind of bobbing from side to side, he's not um, swimming straight and he keeps like kind of falling. I think that either has to do with the fact that either his shell is still soft on the other side so it's throwing his flotation off or he just has not gotten his full strength back yet. I think we're really just gonna have to watch him for the next couple days and see how he does. I am worried about his shell being soft in that one spot. Hopefully between the vitamins and things that I put into the water for him and the heat lamp, it'll dry his shell back out and he'll be able to heal from whatever like gunk was caked to his shell. Um, but I would say he's not completely out of the weeds just yet. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up his heat lamp. Normally I would, since it's nighttime now, put the nighttime lamp on, but since I have not heated up the water and there's not a water heater in here for him, and he's a baby, I'm gonna go ahead and put the main one on just so it can start getting him acclimated to the temperature change. Okay, so now we need to get his lamp put together. So as I showed you earlier, this is the box that has the light bulb. You can tell the difference between the daylight and uh, the night ones because daylight ones are gonna be white or like clear, whereas the night ones are usually gonna be red or black light bulbs. All right, so I'm just gonna screw this into his little lampy here. Now with my other turtle, I actually left the, uh, the lid off, but since I have a cat, I don't know if Sully's gonna try to get into the tank. So probably best if we put the lid on for now. So these get really hot. Um, this one is supposed to be a lower wattage. My turtles though, if you touched it would burn you, in which case it would actually be best to not have it resting on the top of the lid. Um, I'm just gonna have to turn it on and kind of see on this one to be honest. That's pretty bright. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave it here for a little bit and see if it gets hot. If it gets hot, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to use the clip to uh, get it up off of the lid. He's using a bit of camouflage. He's like, eyes hide. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I'm looking forward to seeing how Turtles progress is. I guess we should probably come up with a name um, in the meantime, so we're not just calling Turtle Turtle. If you have ideas on what we should name the turtle, you should put it in the comments below. And if you're as big of a Steve Irwin fan as I am, then also comment Crikey down in the comments below. We'll be giving updates on Turtle's progress soon. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in and may the wind be at your back.